Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. After the Geth secure a location, they round up and impale dead and living bodies on mechanical spikes. The spikes rapidly transform these victims into withered husks, extracting water and trace minerals, and replacing them with cybernetics. The cybernetics reanimate the lifeless flesh and tissue, transforming the bodies into mindless killing machines. Some Alliance soldiers refer to the husk-generating spikes as dragon's teeth. A reference to the mythological berserkers who sprang up from the earth wherever the teeth of the dragon Eris were planted. Dragon's teeth and husks bear little resemblance to other pieces of Geth technology. No one is sure why a synthetic race would bother to drain the minuscule amount of recoverable resources from organic corpses, though the value of reusing them as shock troops is obvious. Commander, it's Nihilus. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. You're saying Nihilus was murdered by a Turian? The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. Where'd Saren go after he killed Nihilus? He jumped on the cargo train and headed over to the other platform. Probably going after the beacon. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. 
They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? If you hadn't snuck off for that nap, you'd probably be dead just like all the others. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. I don't really want to think about it. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. We loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. Hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. Feels like a whole other life. Tell me about this mothership you saw. I I've never seen anything like it before. It... It was huge. Landed over near that platform. The whole place got dark as it came down. And... It was making this noise, this... This sound that bored right into your brain. That's what woke me up. The attack came a few minutes later. Tell me about the Geth attack. It was quick. One minute that ship was descending, the next... Those Geth were swarming over the platform. Thousands of them. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this.
Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. to be beautiful here. Normandy, the beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. 
It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. Oh, you guys, I had you guys muted the whole fucking time. I didn't even know. I'm sorry. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. man was pissed so that was the technology that um <laughs> doctor dr chakwas hold on i think he's waking up uh, give me a few minutes you had us worried there shepherd how are you feeling How did I end up here? How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. I expect better of my people, Williams. You endangered our entire mission. Don't be so hard on her, Commander. We have no idea if that's what actually set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. The blast knocked you cold. The lieutenant and I carried you back here to the ship. What's the damage, Doctor? Physically, you're fine, but I detected some unusual brain activity, abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement, signs typically associated with intense dreaming.
I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death? Destruction? Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. How's our exo holding up, Doctor? When all the readings look normal, I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. I'm sorry, my uh, joystick was dying. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? Chief Williams isn't part of the Normandy crew. I figured we could use a soldier like her. She's been reassigned to the Normandy. Williams is a good soldier. She deserves it. Lieutenant Elenko agrees with you. That's why I added her to our crew. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. Okay, so recap. The Vale is basically... something like um, a borderline. The, the galaxy has two... basically a border. And the Geth are only allowed to be on that side. If they pass international space, it's a fucking problem. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. <coughs> Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. The Council is basically the Alliance. Anybody who played Halo and understand Halo or seen Halo, they, they have a council of people that basically control all the little fucking people like us, so. And they're all aliens. There's no human on the council. Which, in my opinion, is like Star Trek. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Geth, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. Why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the galaxy. A lot of aliens think that way. Most of them don't do anything about it. But Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how, I don't know why. I only know it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. <laughs> A vision? A vision of what? I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. They'll think I'm crazy. We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation, his politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. So, the specters are an elite intergalactic 007 you could say like CIA operatives that basically can do whatever the fuck they want but they have to be in so the council controls the whole universe different aliens 
Um, they listen more to reason and shit like that or whatever, but at the end of the day, there's not a human on it. Um, so basically, this is what it is. They control them, and underneath them are specters. Specters are all Torian that <coughs> are like the second or the first master race, basically, that they came in contact with. And during their first war into the intergalactic first war but as a specter they basically can't it's something like the mob you, you kill a specter they're on your ass a specter you have to prove that a specter is doing whatever with a shitload of evidence it's not easy he's a specter you can go anywhere and do almost anything that's why we need the council on our side so basically the council if a specter is going rogue, the council will not believe it because they're trained not to believe, not to do it. But at the end of the day, if they go rogue, they go rogue. We prove Saren's gone rogue and the council will revoke his specter status. I'll contact the ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. <laughs> well, it's a little like we're going back to home but here's a little more of a galactic government so although the citadel is equipped with the mass effect generation element zero core most of the gravity on the station is generated by the configurable force of rotation I don't fucking know Uh, that's basically how big it is. Ton, it's pretty big and shit. But if you want to know more, hold on. Here it is. The Citadel is Spectres are the Citadel okay, here we go. is an ancient deep space station, <laughs> presumably constructed by the Protheans. Since the Prothean extinction, numerous species have come to call the Citadel home. It serves as the political, cultural, and financial capital of the galactic community. To represent their interests, most species maintain embassies on the Presidium, the Citadel's inner ring. The Citadel Tower in the center of the Presidium holds the Citadel Council Chambers. Council affairs often have far-reaching effects on the rest of the galactic community. Five arms, known as the Wards, extend from the Presidium. Their inner surfaces have been built into cities, populated by millions of inhabitants from across the galaxy. The Citadel is virtually indestructible. If attacked, the station can close its arms to form a solid, impregnable shell. For as long as the station has existed, an enigmatic race called the Keepers has maintained it. The Keepers. I don't know who the fuck the Keepers are. Don't never heard of them. But... Give me a few minutes, guys, because I'm actually um getting me some food ready. I'm hungry. All that coffee left me like feeling empty. So the Citadel is a big ass ship. Home to whatever the fuck. Oh yeah, some white rice and some chick, some meat, some pork loin meat. Mm-hmm. All right. All right, come on. So, like I was saying, all right, so what the fuck we got to do? All right, so basically, mm-hmm. I'm sorry. It tastes so good. Alright. Gotta go find out where to go now. Hey, Commander. 
I'm glad you're okay, Commander. The crew could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. When your number comes up, it's over. His did. Do you really believe that, Commander? After what happened to you and Akuz? Are you saying you only survived because of random chance? Akuz was a bloodbath. Even now, I don't know how I survived. I guess it just wasn't my time yet. With respect, sir, I think you had somebody watching over you. Things were pretty rough down there. Are you okay? I've seen friends die before. Comes with being a Marine. But to see my whole unit wiped out, and you never get used to seeing dead civilians. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown up. <laughs> Well, the mission was failed. Dead Marines, dead colonists, and in the end, we still didn't get that beacon. You saved a lot of lives, Commander. It might be hard to keep that in perspective with what happened to Jenkins. I'm not looking for a shoulder to cry on, Williams. Just stay focused on your job. Understood, sir. That's right, bitch. Joker's waiting for you on the bridge, Commander. I see Joker when I'm ready to help. Fuck wrong with you. I'm El Capitan number one, bitch. All right, what's up here? What's going on? Oh, this is the bridge. All right, let me go back downstairs. No, is this the wait? This is doesn't have no fucking. Whatever. Hey, guy. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How did you end up serving on an Alliance ship? I enlisted right out of med school. Earth always seemed boring to me. Too safe. Too secure. I figured the colonies were teeming with exotic adventure. I wanted to travel the stars, tending the wounds of tough soldiers with piercing eyes and sensitive souls. <laughs> Turns out military life isn't quite as romantic as I'd imagined. I do. Humanity needs the Alliance if we want to keep expanding through the Traverse, and the Alliance always needs good doctors. So I stayed on to do my part. That fool is good. Ever think you made the wrong choice? Sometimes I think about opening a private practice back on Earth. Or maybe taking a position at one of the new med centers out in the colonies. But there's something special about working on soldiers. If I left the Alliance now, I'd feel like I was abandoning them. What do you know about Captain Anderson? Uh, I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. The crew knows he's seen pretty much anything they'll ever run into. And he cares about the people under his command. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive <coughs> service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? What's an L2? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired with the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Okay. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Caden's lucky. He just gets migraines. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. All right, that's something new. Glad to see you're okay, Commander. So he's an L2. There goes the captain. Go speak to Joker when you're ready. Tell him to bring the Norman into dock. Yes, sir. Let's see what the fuck's going on over here. Hey guys. I wanna talk? Fuck you then. It's look like the bottom of the ship. Alright, this is. Let 
let me see something, cause what's this? Guess we're going down. <laughs> In the Normandy vehicles bay, using squad members locker allow you to assign equipped them and equipment may be purchased from the reputation officer. Hey commander, looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Well, as long as you don't mind paying for it. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. What are licenses? Why do you need them? Manufacturers sell licenses. Each license allows me to buy and sell a certain brand of products. I already have several basic ones, but you'll need to buy more if you want me to bring in different brands. Many of the best licenses are hard to get, but they're well worth the cost if you can find them. What do the different manufacturers offer? There are too many for me to keep track of, but each license will explain what it's good for. Okay. How often will you get new items? <laughs> well, that depends on how many licenses you've purchased, but I'll rotate items on a regular basis regardless. And any time we land someplace with a big enough port, I'll buy, sell, and trade whatever I can. Check back often. I need to move items quickly, so only the most basic items will be stocked consistently. Let's see what you've got. You bet, Commander. Okay. Okay, let's sort by... Ooh, that's a lot. It's a lot, 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 lot. I don't even got that much money, bro. Okay. Manual upgrade, increase the maximum of units by. I'll buy that. Insufficient credit. Fuck you. So we increased it by two or three. So I can upgrade my pistols and stuff. Okay, that's good to know. That's something on the codex. The Mako Infantry Fighting Vehicle was designed for the System Alliance's frigates. Though the interior is cramped, an M35 is small enough to be carried in the cargo bay and easily deployed on virtually any world. With its turreted 155 millimeter mass accelerator and coaxially mounted machine gun, the Mako can provide a fire team with weapon support as well as mobility. Since Alliance Marines may be required to fight on any world, the Mako is environmentally sealed and equipped with microthrusters for use on low-gravity planetoids. The Mako is powered by a sealed hydrogen-oxygen fuel cell and includes a small Element Zero core. While not large enough to nullify the vehicle's mass, the core can reduce it enough to be safely airdropped. When used in conjunction with thrusters, it also allows the Mako to extricate itself from difficult terrain. So, this is the ship that's small as fuck. Comes with weapons, small enough to fit in the damn hangar. Small enough to do missions. And okay, that's the Mako. That's what a Mako is. So I'm guessing we can touch down on planets without no problems. That's good. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm way really in fact. Alright. Go so technologies, find out. Biotics is the ability of rare individuals oh. to manipulate dark energy and create mass effect fields through the use of electrical impulses from the brain. Intense training and surgically implanted amplifiers are necessary for a biotic to produce mass effect fields powerful enough for practical use. The relative strength of biotic abilities varies greatly among species and with each individual. There are three branches of biotics. 
Telekinesis uses mass lowering fields to levitate or impel objects. Mass raising kinetic fields are used to block or pin objects. Spatial distortion uses rapidly shifting mass fields to shred objects. Most organic species are capable of developing biotic abilities, though there are risks involved. Biotics are the result of an in utero exposure to element zero. This usually causes fatal cancers in the victim, but in rare cases, it coalesces into nodules within the fetus's developing nervous system. So basically, it's like an implant for a Jedi. Gotcha. Omni tools are handheld devices that combine a computer microframe, sensor analysis pack, and manufacturing fabricator. Versatile and reliable, an Omni tool can be used to analyze and adjust the functionality of most standard equipment, including weapons and armor, from a distance. The fabrication module can <coughs> rapidly assemble small three-dimensional objects from common reusable industrial plastics, ceramics, and light alloys. This allows for field repairs and modifications to most standard items, as well as the reuse of salvaged equipment. Omni tools are standard issue for soldiers and first-in colonists. Okay, so everybody, not everybody has one, but everybody has one. The equipment screen allows you to upgrade your squad. I'm gonna make her my sniper. So this would make it. This dude, he got the advance. No upgrades, you don't got no... No upgrades? Okay. Let's do armor piercing. Matter of fact... Let me go back to Ashley. Let me give her an upgrade. Oh, no, no, no! I done fucked up. What the fuck did I just do? Oh, okay, so these are the armors. Can we give her back her phoenix? There we go. Torian. Human. Human. Torian shit. Mechanically increase the strength of water and it's loud power. Okay. She's gonna be my sniper. So I want armor piercing. do myself okay what's this whoa holy hell
Biotics, when subjected to an electrical current, the rare material dubbed element zero, or ESO, emits a dark energy field that raises or lowers the mass of all objects within it. This mass effect is used in countless ways, from generating artificial gravity to manufacturing high-strength construction materials. It is most prominently used to enable faster-than-light space travel. ESO is generated when solid matter, such as a planet, is affected by the energy of a star going supernova. The material is common in the asteroid debris that orbits neutron stars and pulsars. These are dangerous places to mine, requiring extensive use of robotics, telepresence, and shielding to survive the incredible radiation from the dead star. Only a few major corporations can afford the setup costs required to work these primary sources. Humanity discovered refined element zero at the Prothean Research Station on Mars, allowing them to create mass effect fields and develop FTL travel. Bye. Duly fucking know it. So that's basically a fucking bomb. Talk about supernova. Tripping. Find out what's going up here. Hello, everybody. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. Losing Jenkins was hard enough. Okay, that's just things I'm doing so I can like link shit together. Only the commanding officer. I'm not a commanding officer. Go talk to Joker. Going on, Joker. Good timing, Commander. I was just about to bring us into the Citadel. See that taxpayer money at work. Citadel fleet. Well, size isn't everything. Why so touchy, Joker? I'm just saying you need firepower, too. Look at that monster. Its main gun could rip through the barriers in any ship in the Alliance fleet. Good thing it's on our side, then. Citadel Control, this is SSV Normandy, requesting permission to land. Stand by for clearance, Normandy. Clearance granted. You may begin your approach. Transferring you to an Alliance operator. Roger, Alliance Tower. Normandy out. Normandy, this is Alliance Tower. Please proceed to dock 422. That was the loaded screen, but I'm on the PS5, so that shit don't even count this now. This is an outrage! The Council would step in if the Geth attacked a Turian colony? The Turians don't found colonies on the borders of the Terminus systems, Ambassador. Humanity was well aware of the risks when you went into the Traverse. What about Seren? You can't just ignore a rogue Spectre. I demand action! 
You don't get to make demands of a council ambassador. Citadel Security is investigating your charges against Saren. We will discuss the CSEC findings at the hearing, not before. Captain Anderson, I see you brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime, in case you had any questions. I have the mission reports. I assume they're accurate? They are. Sounds like you convinced the Council to give us an audience. They were not happy about it. Seren's their top agent. They don't like him being accused of treason. I'm not gonna sit on my ass just because the Council doesn't want to do anything. If they won't stop Saren, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. That's Saren's fault, not his. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the Council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard, you and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. Welcome to the Galactic Place, bitch. The Citadel is an the Council is an executive go. committee composed of representatives from the Asari Republics, the Turian Hierarchy, and the Salarian Union. Though they have no official power over the independent governments of other species, the Council's decisions carry great weight throughout the galaxy. No single Council race is strong enough to defy the other two, and all have a vested interest in compromise and cooperation. Each of the Council species has general characteristics associated with the various aspects of governing the galaxy. The Asari are typically seen as diplomats and mediators. The Salarians gather intelligence and information. The Turians provide the bulk of the military and peacekeeping forces. Any species granted an embassy on the Citadel is considered an associate member, bound by the accords of the Citadel conventions. Associate members may bring issues to the attention of the Council, though they have no input on the decision. The Human Systems Alliance became an associate member of the Citadel in 2165. We were just late to the party, huh? Bullshit. Big place. No, dickhead, big place. What's this? Alliance Patrol report. Captain Henderson reported some unusual energy readings during the patrol of a regular blue cluster. She has particular concerns about the Hydra system. But they were recalled for her. Team to investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send a recon team? I'll look into it. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so wrong, and it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say, she has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Sasari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. What's up, guys?
You know you got a spider, right? Journal. Wait, let me go back here and check this shit again. Strained greeting, human. This is really not a good time. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard Who's them. this Asari consort? Curious, you have not heard. You must be new to the city. I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Alright. What the fuck was her name? Welcome to the Presidio. Allow me to be your guide. Good day, Commander. The human ambassador is up the stairs, first room on the right. You know who I am? Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. What is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you are at the Citadel Embassies. If you have more questions, please access Avena. What's that? Oh, Avena is the virtual guide for the Citadel. Feel free to access the terminal yourself. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the Embassies. You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. <laughs> when you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Sephiria. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. I should be going now. Have a pleasant day. Where is this lady? Is she here? I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. I leveled up. This ain't nothing here, but don't you just love it here? There's no. so much to see and do. Where the fuck am I? I gotta find this lady. Is she over here? Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. Yep. The Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet. That's their business. But I don't have to like it. Good. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No. The Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet. The Council it. treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. Pussy. I'm gonna search your office, though. Popo. -po. 
So what he is is basically um somebody that CSEC is like I guess the FBI for the council. The following message was transmitted from an alternate account multiple. looking for yeah you're a corrupted diplomat hey bartender hello commander can I get you something what have you got information mostly would you like to know about some points of interest nearby what's going on around here well you found the embassies not much going on here Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. If you haven't heard of her, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets one level below. For entertainment, I'd try Flux or Cora's Den. What is Shaira's? The consort? Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing certainly more lively than this place. Cora's Den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. Mm. Goodbye. So long, Commander. Have a pleasant day. You too. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Look like you're just staring at the fucking wall. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she wouldn't. She'd be talked at the nearest airlock if she did. Uh, I suppose. Besides, Nick, the consort's nothing like the girls back on the colonies. Huh. She's... she's... You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk. I didn't say that. Ha! I bet you did too. Shut up, Fredericks. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari Consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. <sighs> I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. He tricking. All right, hold on real quick, guys. Cause we we went over here, right? We saw. Oh yeah, that, that, that's old uh, crab face. So she's across from here. Okay, um. I guess that's just the balcony, so we're gonna go check her out. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. Looks alright to me, weirdo. Wait, did I go over here? Yeah, I went over here. I'm gonna check this shit out before I start moving. Welcome to the Presidium. Allow me to be... Greetings, and welcome to the Presidium. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. So are you a person or a program? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence. Programmed to provide spontaneous guidance at predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. 
Give me the tour. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with CSEC headquarters. <coughs> On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I want to know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Tell me about the embassies. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Volus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy, roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. Do you agree with their decision? I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulations. Why were people trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more be- The Council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on- How come the Bolas were the first species given an embassy? In the early years following the formation of the Council, the Volus were, apart from the Asari and Salarians, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel space. They established many new colonies and trading outposts, and they petitioned the Council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Do you know anything about Spectres? The term Spectre is derived from the branch of Special Tactics and Reconnaissance. Each Spectre agent is handpicked by the Council. Their primary role is preserving galactic stability and resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the Council itself. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the Council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Salarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community while preserving individual autonomy for each species. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Well, on the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets... Goodbye. Regularly. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Rapid transit, fuck it. <clears throat> the loading screen, way back when. That shit ain't even here no more. Damn, I still would have been on the fucking Xbox waiting for that shit to fucking load.
Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. You don't want to keep the Council waiting. Now we're gonna talk to these intergalactic motherfuckers. Move, bitch, get out the way, ho. What's up, cuz? Oh, yo, I like the fit. Need one of those. Bruh. Your hair shiny and shit. It's over here. Of course not. find something out. The hearing's already started. Come on. Already? Fuck, I just got here. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern. But there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson. You always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. 
Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. Tell me about this history between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. We need to deal with Saren ourselves. As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the Financial District. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the Council. He's just frustrated. The Council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the Council. The Ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the Council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests too. Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing Of course, I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the Council. You and Saren have a history. About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Okay. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Sometimes a thousand people must die so a million can live. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. Really? A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal. But he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. This motherfucker said n nothing illegal. Tell me more about the Shadow He's Broker. a necessary evil of galactic politics. Always. Hey, He's not a threat bye, to bye, anyone, bye. not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense, the final option before open war. 
The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Counselor's careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done, like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation, but with him gone, things are still up in the air. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the Ambassador's office if you need anything else. Well, that sucks. Hmm. You say, huh, for Ashley? I bet all these staircases aren't just for show. They make for good defensive positions if this place is ever attacked. That guy's up to something. What? Oh, no, no I wasn't. Never mind. Um, yes, is there something you want? Why are you so interested in the Keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the Keepers. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the Keepers. So far I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well... Technically, we're not supposed to disturb the Keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested over. I could help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. I'm Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. You'll need this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activated each time you see a Keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the Keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long, and good luck with the scanning. I'm waiting to speak with one of the Counselor's assistants. Commander? Commander? I could have swore there was another one around here. He's down there. But I think there's one over here. All right. Don't be ridiculous. Navolis won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the Volus will be right on their coattails if they succeed. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move. Next, then the Elcor. You may be right. Though the Hanar need to lighten up a bit first. You just don't like them. 
because you have trouble understanding them. Hmm. All right. Mm. Hmm. Let's go out the front door. Direction. This elevator leads to the Petit City, and where you'll find the Embassy Tower. Extra creature behind the city tower. Comes to the the far end. All right. I can't believe the council ignored all the evidence against Saren. Saren's one of their best operatives. It's only natural they've taken his word. So now we just chase leads while this smug Turian runs around with his geth troopers. That's politics, Chief. I hate politics. <sighs> yeah. We all hate politics, bitch. Welcome to the world. That bug thing over there. Please do not disturb the keepers. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal. Behind me is the spectacular relay. To your left is one of the keepers, the enigmatic you may The keepers are essential to the smooth operation of the citadel. I'd Absolutely. like to know more about the keepers. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Citadel regulations protect the keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. Failure to comply will result in harsh penalties. Keepers can be seen in all sections of the Citadel, but are typically found in and around the tower. Any particular reason there are so many Keepers in this area? The Keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the tower houses the Citadel's primary control systems. Many of the station systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the Keepers operate those systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. The Keepers also make frequent appearances in the Council Chamber itself, though they appear to be just passing through on their way to some other destination. Tell me about the Relay Monument. Discovered by the Asari who first arrived at the Citadel, the Relay Monument is one of the station's most interesting and controversial features. What is the meaning behind this striking piece of art? Is it a tribute to Prothean vanity? A reminder of their conquest of the galaxy through mass relay technology? Or perhaps it is a symbol of unity, a Prothean acknowledgement that the relays would eventually lead other species here to the Citadel. No one can say for sure, making the relay monument a favorite topic of discussion among academics and scholars. Tell me about the Citadel Tower. Housing both the Council Chambers and Citadel Control, the tower is one of the most important buildings on the station. Access to these areas is restricted to those with the appropriate clearance. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. Let's go find out what's going on around here. Why you keep saying, huh? This one believes it has the right to move freely through this area. 
You're creating a public disturbance. That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued with the stubborn jelly all afternoon. You Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Are you allowed to preach here in the Presidium? The words this unworthy one speaks are merely observations of the truth. The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. However, this one also does not possess the 150 credits necessary to purchase the permit. 150 credits? This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. This one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Happy to help. Here for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. <laughs> See what's going on around here. Look, oh, guys, another one. to the ward. Okay, so let's see what's up here. C Sec Academy. Find out because I think I gotta go over here. Or oh, this is where we just at. So this is the ambas em em embassies. <laughs> Shit! That's not supposed to happen. I'm not even. To me. Perimeter secured. That controls her, that controls him. Her, him. Her, him. Regroup. Regroup. Rally round. Got it. Go. Go. She goes that way, he goes that way. Take it off. Oh, okay, so that's how I do my weapon. Got you. Alright, so 
journal. While in the simulator, the control is going to control mention from stranger to the higher system. The Geth are a when the Asari discover the Volus are a member species after the the Geth are Lower ward, okay. We passed the lower ward. Lower ward over here. How do we get on that side? Financial district. You know the funny thing about it is, the last time I played this game, you couldn't go on this side. Or could you? I don't remember. Why they upgraded this motherfucker though? I've had my office rearranged five times now. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 3. Here in the Financial District, a number of businesses offer various goods and services to their exclusive clientele. The statue you see before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachni Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan rebellions, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Council. Tell me more about the Krogan Rebellions. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachni Wars, <coughs> the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the Council. Over the next 400 years, the Krogan species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began to swell. Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Krogan started a violent colonization of nearby worlds inhabited by other Council species. The Krogan rebellions had begun. For a full century, the Council and its member species fought to bring the Krogan under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. You needed the Krogan to stop the Rachni, then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So who's going to stop the Turians? I am sorry, but that question is beyond my programming parameters. The Turians are members of the Citadel Council. They are not a threat to galactic peace. What were the Rachni Wars? Nearly 2200 years ago, explorers seeking to expand Citadel space opened up mass relays leading to systems controlled by the Rachni. A highly intelligent and aggressive insect race the Rachni unleashed a war of conquest against the rest of the galaxy, 
that lasted for nearly three centuries. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rachni advance and drive them back. The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleets. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworlds, the Krogan hunted their enemy to extinction. Was it really necessary to wipe them out? I am sorry, but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my programming. Why did the Council fight so hard to keep the statue? The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachni threat. The Council believed this historical fact should not be forgotten. The Council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan, and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellions. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate, and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged by the Turians. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. That uh, I forgot the story behind that, but I think everything was like really fucking connected. There's a race that fucked them over, though. Ah, human. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaninder, though many in this place simply refer to it as Delan. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase, all of great worth. Show me your items. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. You will not be disappointed. See some upgrades. How much I have? Ooh. Uh, carbon fireworks. Gonna divide the biotics. Thank you, bro. Did I scan that other arachno? What's this up here? Nothing. There goes one. Yeah, this is totally different from the old one. As I remember the old one. You can find the other guys really, really easy. This one looks like it's way big as fuck. What's this? One of the Earth Clan. Ah, a very famous one, yes? You are the one called Shepherd. The tale of how you survived the great tragedy on Akuz is truly remarkable. I am amazed each time I hear it. You've got me at a disadvantage here. Forgive me, Earth Clan. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. When someone as important as yourself arrives on the station, I take notice. I've heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. But you're right. I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. And I do know something about Saren. I hear your information can be expensive. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune. But these are exceptional circumstances. So I am going to give it to you for free. What's the catch? There is no catch. The Shadow Broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. Saren betrayed him. Imagine that. No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel Security a visit. 
If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. Tell me more about your job. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. I'm an expert in how all these economies interact. For a fee, I share my expertise. I also offer premium services for those clients who need someone to conduct business without drawing unwanted attention. Discreet and efficient. That's my motto. Sounds pretty shady. Everything I do falls completely within the bounds of interstellar commerce law. Even so, many of my clients would prefer their transactions remain undisclosed. For example, suppose a Hanar ambassador was petitioning the Council to reduce tariffs on Hanar goods. How would it look if he had money invested in a Hanar exporting company? Even if his true motives were to help his people, he would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I can keep his personal finances private. Still sounds shady to me. Then we can only hope he will never be cursed with a large enough fortune to require my services. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye, Pendejo. Alright, that's one dude found. There goes the ward. Before we go, well, before we go down, let me just read the codex real quick. Krogan evolved in a hostile and vicious environment. Until the invention of gunpowder weapons, eaten by predators was still the number one cause of Krogan fatalities. Afterwards, it was death by gunshot. When the Salarians discovered them, the Krogan were a brutal, primitive species, struggling to survive a self-inflicted nuclear winter. The Salarians culturally uplifted them, teaching them to use and build modern technology so they could serve as soldiers in the Rachni War. Liberated from the harsh conditions of their homeworld, the quick-breeding Krogan experienced an unprecedented population explosion. They began to colonize nearby worlds. Even though these worlds were already inhabited, the Krogan rebellions lasted nearly a century, only ending when the Turians unleashed the Genophage, a Salarian-developed bioweapon that crushed all Krogan resistance. The genophage makes only one in a thousand pregnancies viable, and today the Krogan are a slowly dying breed. Understandably, the Krogan harbor a grudge against all other species, especially the Turians.
Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry. Okay, man. Just checking on my food and stuff. Alright. I'm starting to get a little bored with this. But what I definitely want to do is uh skip some get some Call of Duties after this mission. Alright, I gotta go here, right? In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, many colonial investors are pulling their support for future projects. <laughs> Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime oh, was an isolated some good case. Ass water. Nevertheless, colonist Ooh. enrollment has Fuck. dropped sharply. Many colonial proposals are on hold until backers have some reassurance that human colonies will be adequately protected. All right, let's see. We got to find somebody down here. That doesn't open. We got to find somebody. Do you really think we'll find him down here? He always stops in for a few games of Quasar before he makes his drop. Fist is going to be pissed if we take down his supplier. Whoa. That's the point. We want him angry. Angry people make mistakes. There's just something about Fist that makes me nervous. Good. He's a dangerous man. Keep your eyes peeled for our mark. Okay. So. Oh. Scan him. Let it upload it. Elevator the Solarian excavation ward. team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hadar uh -oh. protesters have blockaded hey, the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. Uh. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Drink some water. Uh. Open door. Come on, open, 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 open. Fuck is going on over here? Should have go rapid transit. That's him. Oh. No, bitch. <laughs> bitch. Oh, I got fucked up. I walk. I ain't gonna hold. I, I went straight into the wrong fucking. <laughs> All right. So. We're gonna have to do this shit again. That's him. Oh shit. Get down, guys. Let me get a gun here. No, I made her a sniper, right? Yeah. She has a sniper that she has fuck. <laughs> Got them killed, ain't no joke.
Okay, there goes Harkin. General Stimus. Go away. I'm not interested. Not now. I'm watching the show. I got business here, but not with you. Hey, strip show. This is the guy we need to get. <sighs> Alliance military. <laughs> I could have been a Marine, you know. Instead, I joined the goddamn Citadel Security. <sighs> Biggest mistake of my life. I'm looking for a CSEC officer, a Turian named Garrus. Garrus? <laughs> you must be one of Captain Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down, eh? I know where Garrus is, but you gotta tell me something first. The captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush hush. The first human ever given that honor, and then he blew it. Screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. Bet it's a good story, though. The heroes fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> you said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, <laughs> might as well spread them around. Hero Just noticed that now, did you? Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. How well do you know Captain Anderson? Met him a few times over the years. One of those hardcore military guys. Yes, sir. No, sir. Can't have any fun with a stick up your ass, sir. That's probably why he climbed the Alliance rank so fast. The military loves brown nosers. The captain's a good soldier. Sure, whatever. Dress him in a fancy suit, pin some shiny medals on his chest, and call him a hero. Everybody else does. But if he's so great, why'd the Spectres kick him out? Why don't you go ask him about that? You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. Pussy. The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. Goodbye. Enjoy the club. Is this to the... Yeah, I came from this way. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased. I... I'm fucking broke, bro.
Alright, this is the store, I'm guessing. What's this up here? Is that really wow? It's e You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Nice to meet you. And you are my name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Anything for a fan. Here. Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again. Hopefully that helps me out. Hello, Earth Clan. Show okay. me what you've got. Most excellent. Shit. It's a lot of fucking money, bro. I know it was you. I remember your face. Really? That's impressive. Usually, you humans can't tell one giant from another. <laughs> this was the place. Now, are you going to give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? What? No, no. I, I, I don't think you ever gave me one. I'm sorry. But, what we... Damn, help me. I help you. This place is bringing back a lot of memories. Commander Shepard? I'm Emily Wong. I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. You've got to have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. According to your file, you survived back on Akuz when everyone else in your squad got killed. If anyone can find the worst elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Sounds like a good cause. If I find any information, it's yours. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? No wonder the Council treats us like outsiders. We'd be just another drop in a bucket they already can't carry. They must figure us for one more gang of FNGs looking for a handout. I doubt it's personal. It's gotta be a balancing act, like every other government. Why not? 
We've got oceans, beautiful women, this emotion called love. According to the old vids, we have everything they want. If you expect to get me in a tinfoil miniskirt and thigh-high boots, I want dinner first. Sir. That will be enough, Chief. At ease, Lieutenant. I can't see her in a skirt anyway. <laughs> Damn, straight you can't. Ready to move out, sir. What's this? Elevator, huh? Alright. It's over here. See, sack. Med clinic. I didn't tell anyone, I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now, if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll. Who are you? Let her go. Ah! Headshot. down what is this oh bitch what is this perfect timing shepherd gave me a clear shot at that bastard glad i could help dr michelle are you hurt no, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? Quarian. A few days ago, a quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Feast betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid even for him. Saren must have made him quite the offer. The Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Welcome aboard, Garrus. You know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we heard about him. A Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Okay. At the squad, and... Ashley Williams. Sub squad. All right, guys, let's do this shit. 
I have to. Oh wait, there's one right here, right? They all came back to me. All right. Uh. C sec, right? War locations. Back. Uh. Presidium locations. Uh. Embassies. Is it the embassy? Embassy. Oh, Sea Tech is downstairs. Binary Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Let me get a beer. <sighs> one beer won't hurt. It's only one beer. And plus I ate a lot. I don't know, I'm starting to get like real. What you wanna call it about this damn thing? It's still starting to get good. I do not own any sponsors. I do not have anything to do with what I'm about to drink. But this is to you guys. So I'm gonna hide the name so that way there ain't no fucking problems. Uh, but obviously you can tell by the can what it is. That'll be the first beer I'm gonna drink. Probably be the only one though. Cause I don't really like beer once it starts getting hot. Alright, uh fuck. Hold on real quick. Let me see if my uh headset and stuff is okay, pretty much. We are pretty much No, we don't wanna go nowhere else. We gotta find some dickhead here. Is that him? There you go. Rex. Why they Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only warning, Rex. You should warn Fist. I will kill him. <sighs> you want me to arrest you? I want you to try. That's the reason why he was my favorite character. He was a fucking beast. He go was on. A pussy. Get out of here. Do I know you, human? My name's Shepard. I'm going after Fist. Thought you might want to come along. <sighs> Shepard. Commander Shepard. I've heard a lot about you. We're both warriors, Shepard. Out of respect, I'll give you a fair warning. I'm going to kill Fist. Fist knows you're coming. We'll have a better chance if we all work together. My people have a saying. Seek the enemy of your enemy, and you will find a friend. Glad to have you on the team, Rex. Let's go. I hate to keep Fist waiting. Alright. I'm gonna have my alien squad with me. Oh yeah, look at the team, boy. Matter of fact, let me see the squad. Does he got a helmet? Oh yeah, I forgot their helmets look crazy. Yeah, he's a beast with a rifle. Um, squad. Back. Guns away. Oh fuck, guns away. Guns away. I gotta hold. Oh my god, okay. Is it hold R2? No, it's hold R1, right? There we go. I want him to use overkill and I want him to use barrier. And I'll use adrenaline boost. 
Alright, let's put this shit away. Now. Let me see what's the next thing I have to do. Take down fist. First crime lords hiding out at the bar. Cars are building lower wards. In the corn. Alright, uh. Meeting with the corn who has Edgar to get the siren. Let's go, guys. It's over here. So, how about it, Garrus? Is this better than CSEC? Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way? I'd say that beats CSEC. There may just be hope for you yet, Turian. Running along this shit, cause it's big. What the fuck? Now oh, look, another one. What's this? I don't know what the fuck that is. Who are you? Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument at Akuz. They got a whole section about you there. It's a miracle you survived. What? Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry, I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. What do you know about the Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much, figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, See you around, Commander. from what I got is... Those motherfuckers... Going to the flux. This is the flux, right? Discussing with the Volus. Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to. Ugh, sorry, I don't want to bore you with my problems. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. The problem is, she's working as an informant for CSEC. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing, they'll kill her. I assume CSEC is protecting her? They can't watch her all the time. Mm, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it. For Jenna's safety. 
Maybe I could help her understand just how dangerous Cora's den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. Uh, high stakes. Wait, there's a game here? Low stakes. Oh, I'm gonna gamble real quick. Add eight. I don't know how this shit works. Eighteen, hey. Hey out, baby. Would you like to play again for twenty credits? Quit. Oh, so these are like games and shit. Hey, this wasn't in the last fucking game, bro. We'll keep her. These sons of bitches added some good shit. Oh, it's the same shit. Fuck. One and eight. Ten. I don't get this shit, bro. Seventeen. How the fuck you play this shit? Would you like to take a 200 credits? Quit. I'll take my 200 credits, bitch. So I got good. Okay, so this is a bar. Hey, we dancing. We dancing. Hey. Come on, guys. Oh, excuse me, bitch. Move that shit. Hey. Move that shit. Hey. Move that shit. Hey. Yeah, I know you heard about Michael Jackson, baby. Watch this. I call this the sidestep a bitch move. Uh. <laughs> my man walking, runs like he had a wedgie up his ass. Like, my man can't even stretch in that suit. Look, look. Like, ugh. Big, big, tight ass suit. Alright, where do we gotta go? I gotta go this way. This is the ward, right? Yep, the ward. Okay. Open the door. Uh, this is to the bar. In remembrance of Eden Prime, we present another profile <coughs> of courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military right, under the fucking... Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. Instead, she gave her life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance military on the extranet. Keyword, Courage. They was talking. You two were looking for fish, right? But we came this way, fuck. And now I gotta... Now I gotta do all this bullshit again. Why are they blocking that fucking door? So what is the ward, though? Like... Why can't we go this way? Right. In entertainment news, Francis Kidd has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. The production will open dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kidd claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds uh, and not his emotions. You know what? That's why I don't drink beer. I forgot about all that damn math. This is the best way to drink beer. Cup. 
I'm gonna let that foam just that loop. Okay. Uh. Bro, I'm back up here. What the fuck? Where there was only darkness, the enkindlers gave light. Wait, we are going. The fuck, the killers are, bro. Alright. We have to go right back in here. What's up, Pop? Wait, where's the ward, bro? Oh, fuck. The ward is over here, right? Yep. Uh. <sighs> All right, let's see what the fuck going on. Reports are circulating that Alliance Ambassador Udina has accused a specter of orchestrating the attack on Eden Prime. Udina. Udina reportedly based his accusation upon eyewitness accounts of the scene, but lacked the evidence to demand further investigation. The ambassador. When asked to comment, a council spokesperson would only state that the investigation of the attacks upon Eden Prime was currently ongoing. Come on, guys, we're gonna go kill this motherfucker. Okay, uh, I'm running around this fucking thing like an idiot. Celebrations on, are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. Come on, guys, just be on your point. The last time I came through this shit, I got shot at. Hopefully, motherfuckers don't start shooting. This is Cora's den. Her sister's in here. Looks like it shut down. Oh! Go, 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 push, push, push. down
dog line. Say hello to my little friend. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Got you, buddy. Fuck, got turned, bro. I surrender. Where's the Quarian? She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't wait, know why where the Quarian is. Why the fuck are they missing their guns, bro? The Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Face to face? Look, my man's holding nothing. Even I was hired through an agent. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. He what said are you he, doing? He the said Shadow Broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. I'm in charge here. You ever pull another stunt like that? It was the only contract I had left. And don't we have something more pressing to worry about? That Quarian's dead if we don't go now. <sighs> he said that's the only one. He said... <sighs> oh, fuck. Here we go. Uh... Square, square, circle, circle. Take all of that. Let's go. We robbed this motherfucking prick. Let's get the fuck out of here. We go this way? Nope. We go this way, guys. Let's go. Take all that. We got more guns. Let's go. Open the fucking door. Let's go, guys. Where you at? Ah, more broken MPCs. Eat this. Oh shit. Fuck. Who the fuck is that? Why is it telling me to go here? Oh, bruh, bruh. Okay. We gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go.
Got him. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. I knew I couldn't trust him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? This Quarian can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, Careful and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Oh, that's Amrith. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. 
The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audiophiles prove Saren's a traitor! The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Henderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the Council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Okay, so I'm going to the tower. Oh, wait, I gotta talk to this dude. It's locked. Oh no, he's over here. Fuck. Strained greeting, human. This is really. You seem distressed. Is there alarmed something? Alarmed response. You overheard that, did you? This is all going so Who's wrong. this Asari consort? Curious. You have not heard. You must be new to the Citadel. Everyone knows Shatira, the consort. I cannot speak more about this problem. Where can I find this Asari consort? She is consort? across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. We'll look into it. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral, and the respect she deserves. I'm tired of pressing this button. Why don't these fucking things just open up? The bar's over here. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man and an understandably... Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, 
Serviceman Batia may save more lives in death than she did in life. I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. Yeah, I'm about to fuck you up. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. This place seems strange. Must be more human. Let me show this place. Oh. Shepard, what can I do for you now? Tell me about your investigation. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. And now I gotta tell this motherfucker his wife might save the fucking galaxy. Open the fucking doors. Oh my god, this shit is fucking annoying. Ugh. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. It's unacceptable. I'll let you know what I can do. Thank you. Please let me know what can be done. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? <sighs> Tell me again what you've been told about your wife. As I said, I've been told nothing. I don't Where understand. Where can I find this, Mr. He Bosker? He was in the expensive bar over there. It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The yes, you told me as much. My wife finished her service when she gave her life on Eden Prime. It is time for her to come home. It's unacceptable. Thank you. Please let me know what can Bro, I can't. Br Let's, let's, Hello, let's try a different site. Has any progress been made with Mr. Boss? They're running medical studies on you. Yes, you told me. My mm. wife finished her service when she gave her life on Eden Prime. It is time for her to come home. It's unacceptable. Thank you. Please let me know what can be done. Yeah, I need to talk to you again. Hello, Commander. <laughs> Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? It's not as simple as I'd hoped. Yes, you told me as My wife finished her service when she gave her life on Eden Prime. It's unacceptable. Thank you. All right, Please let's try let this again. What can be done. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? They're running medical studies on Norali. That's why they won't release the body. Yes, you told me as My wife finished her service when she gave her life on Eden Prime. It I'm not going to go against the military, Mr. Batya. I can't help you. Nirali always said that the military sticks together. <laughs> Why should this be any different? I knew my wife might one day give her life for the military. I did not think you would take her body as well. Well, my boy, it is what it is. You got a problem, take it up with the CDC. I don't fucking know. Alright, I'm bored of this. I'm gonna save the game. Can I save it? I'm gonna save it here. I'll continue the game later. I'm ready to play some warfare.